Last year was an interesting season for the Madison Dodgers. They started with a COVID shutdown, but then reeled off 11 straight victories in winning first place in the Independence Division in the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference. While they did lose some key wrestlers, head coach Mike Goodwin, entering his 10th year, is excited about the prospects of the program and building towards the future. Uh, this year I have my most experienced squad coming back. Um, I don't have everyone coming back, but I have uh, the majority of my team. Uh, we're looking for the conference title this year again. Uh, you know, continue. We're trying to get somebody down in Atlantic City. Uh, team goal, make the playoffs and see if we can get to the, to the final, sectional final. That would be great. And then anything can happen. If we stay healthy, we'll be in pretty good shape. I am giving up a couple of weights here and there, but um, hopefully as the year goes on, maybe we'll fill them in. I just can't use any old guy to stick in there just yet. But, uh, you know, it's one of our better years, uh, you know, so um, we're looking for more improvement from our younger kids and our older, older guys to show the leadership for when they leave that the other kids just take up the mantle and, and keep pushing, push, pushing the program forward. One of the wrestlers the coach is going to rely on to help push the program to the next level is senior India Plakino. He finished last year 10-1 and one and looks to improve with this year's squad, despite the numbers being a little low for his liking. Uh, I mean, our team's a little smaller than this year, than other years, but we're working hard in the room, getting everybody at endurance, we're running, just trying to get everybody prepared for the season, trying to teach them new moves, starting with some of the basic stuff, but we'll slowly get to more complicated moves. This is an interesting Madison Dodgers team. I'm not sure if last year was an aberration, a lucky streak, or a trend of things to come. They have a good amount of numbers and should fill the lineup once the weights get where they need to be. I'm leaning more towards the fact that I think they're for real. While it's going to be tough for them to compete in a lot of different areas, I think they could contend for their conference title and qualify for sectionals and maybe get a wrestler or two down the states. When it comes to the Northwest Jersey Athletic Conference, I look for them to finish second in the Independence Division. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.